Hello, friends and gamers. It is time. We are finishing Thunder Parade on normal today. We'll see where I'm at after we finish, because I might do it on hard. I'm not sure. Just looking at the rewards, though, it's not entirely worth it to do it on hard unless it's like reward wise but it is a fun game mode so i kind of want to take advantage of it while it's still available but the other thing is i i realized the the genshin film event ends the same weekend i didn't realize that so and i haven't started it so i have to do anyways we need to finish thunder parade we do need to do that we're starting with a normal battle treasure reward i don't think we really need to get into it or we can just get into it. We don't really need to linger. We can just kind of get into the, the combat. My hand is probably going to hurt a ton after this because it did after normal Thunder Parade, but it is what it is. I chose this game. I did. I'm like, why is there so many of the, like, why is there, ah, I'm just like trying to avoid, but there's so many hitbox things. Where, what is going on? Oh my God, get me out. Get me out. I need a range damage dealer for this. Y'all are insane. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't like how low my HP is, but we're going to have to make do. I just have to stand over here. Can y'all give it a rest? Finally. And oh, oh my God. We've had a fight like this before and I didn't like it back then. Oh, three waves. Oh, are we on to three wave battles now? Y'all done? Are you done with that? Thank you. Is that? I think that is the opponent because I have gotten burned by that before. I'm like, I don't think that's my lightning. Oh my God, I can't get close to y'all. I literally cannot get close to y'all. Like not even for a second. You done? Are you done? Thank you. Oh, this is a fourth wave? This is part three. So I don't, four waves? Oh my God, stop. I'm just standing here. Stop it. Give me my ult. These guys are annoying. I don't know what's going on with this level, but they're, everyone is annoying. You know, stand over here. I'm, I'm just going to stand over here apparently. Thank God, we're done. Why did they keep, why did they keep doing that? It was just like, okay, I guess I'll stand here. Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> I guess I'll stand here. What do we want for a buff this time? I don't want, the one I'm on the far side is Elven Amulet and it's a defense increase based on HP. I don't really want that. I think I'm going to skip the Amamori just because it's a lower level. But then what is Thermal Gun? When mods hit the enemy with ultimate skill modifying level instantly reaches the next level up to Omega. Again, I don't know how important that it, maybe we'll go, we will go for the Omamori. Mods gain combat resources based on the resources they use. I'll just go for the Thermal Gun. That's fine. Okay, we need to plan this now. So there's a lot of nodes here and a lot of events. So I'm like, we need to plan this. I do think I want the dimension, dimensional shop before we hit the boss battle. We've done that already once before, but that would require me to do an elite battle here. So we might want to skip that then and go for the bottom half, which is, I think that's might that might be what we do. And we'll just do an opportunity instead, just because I, I don't want to have to do an elite battle if I don't have to. I don't know though, it might be worth, our sh worth a shot. I don't know. I'm debating how I want to go, if we do the bottom half then, if we want to, because there's a dimensional shop here. Where are the shops? So let's take a look at that. It looks like there might only be, there's one here. Okay, there's one early on and then one all the way down here, but that requires an elite battle. So I think we might go down this middle here. Yeah, I think we might go down the middle. So we'll do the normal battle ether code reward right here. Then we'll have an opportunity, a treasure reward, normal battle, the shop. Then or only we can either go for a functor elite battle or ether code normal battle. I'm going to go for the normal battle. From there, we have an opportunity. We have another normal battle and then we'll go for opportunity boss battle. I'm thinking is what we'll do to play it a little bit safe because also I don't want to be here running around with the elite battle thing for ages um because that was a lot so we'll do this ether code i don't really like the ether code rewards i'm gonna be honest they're not my favorite thing they're not my favorite thing i think that like sigils or functors are a little bit more helpful but we'll go maybe maybe this will change my mind maybe this will change my mind we'll go for the ether code i just want to stay down the middle for this run pull up my sleeves for this this is probably a better fight uh, right off the bat I might have gone for an elite battle if I hadn't taken so much HP damage early on from that battle, but that was just that was just a really annoying first battle. And I really hope that's not like setting the tone for the entire rest of this run, that it's just gonna be annoying little guys and their AoEs. Cause I I hate an AoE, I really do. They smack down an AoE in front of you, and it's like, well, what am I supposed to do now? 
just avoid you guys? Like, what do we do with this? Ooh, okay, we got hit again. Yeah, no, we're definitely gonna play it safe. I keep getting hit. Oh my god, I'm rusty. I should have done something else before we got to this. Oh my god, I should have warmed up a little bit. This is the first time I'm playing like, any game today, so I really should have warmed up, probably. It's fine, it's fine. We're gonna be fine. We just have to be careful and smart about dodging. I don't like how little HP we have. I really don't. We have to also play it safe with the opportunities, though, because that's another thing. The opportunities can come to get you. We had that that happen with the umbrella guy. <laughs> the godforsaken umbrella guy. Okay, so this is three little dots here. Fever extends the duration of Thunder Frenzy by five seconds. Also increases crit damage by 30%. I'm just going to take it right off the bat. We have one option, which is this opportunity. I'm hoping it's something with HP. So you have received a combat mission from Odin, who has ordered you to follow Shu's orders. I... I'm just gonna follow orders. We get a treasure. Shu praises you by saying everyone did a great job today, especially Thor. Thank you. I'll take that. Do we have anything that's HP? I'm covering it, but bagged jelly is at the start of a battle. Mods max HP is increased by 5%. This effect is increased by 5% with every victory and stacks up to 50. I might take that just immediately. I'm not really looking at the collectible card or the dream catcher. I think I might just take bagged jelly immediately because I would like to play it a little bit safe. We then have treasure award. I'm going for the normal battle. I'm not risking that elite one. I'm just not at this point. It's not worth it. I think that's the right direction we said we'd go. I hope I got it right. Okay, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. This one's gonna suck. Defeat the enemy with protection as quickly as possible. What does that mean? Okay, HP went back up, which I like that a lot. Defeat them as fast as possible, but I don't know about this one. If they're gonna have their little AOEs, we might be in for it because they're doing it again. Oh my God, there's so many. Wait, there's another, the other wave just appeared already? Wait, what? Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, yeah, no, we're definitely gonna be, start getting hit. Why is there so many AoEs? I'm getting smacked. What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, give me that all. Give me that all, please. Oh my God, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Is that even the main guy? I don't know who the main guy is. Can I please have a modified mode or something? This is insane. Oh no, the one with protection is this guy right here but I can't lock on him. I'm locking on just, and okay, that sucks. I can't even get back up. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> maybe we just camp, maybe we just camp. I wait for my ult to come up. Maybe that's our only option because it's really close to being up, but it might just be time to camp. I don't really know what else to do at this point because we're just taking such so much damage from these AOEs on the ground, which sucks. Give me this, please. I need that. <laughs> I also just noticed that my, um, OBS isn't recording audio. We've been at this for like 10 minutes. Hold on. Hold on. I'm fine. It does that every now and then. I never know why it does that, which is probably fine that it did that because it also made me realize that my game audio, like I was like, my game audio is really low. And then I looked over in OBS and it was like, oh, it's not recording. Okay. That's great. I think it's because I usually just put my computer to sleep at night. Also, we're at 3K HP. I know. I see it. Um, I'm, I'm making small talk to not stress about this while I wait for my ult to charge because there, we have no other options anymore. We have to do this the weenie. We have to go back to the weenie strap for a basic battle. I don't like it either, okay? Okay, my, my lightning thing took him out, actually. I hated that. But I was like, oh, my game audio feels like it's really quiet. So I looked over in OBS and I was like, oh, it's not recording. Great. Okay, anything that is HP. Bubble gun when a mod triggers five consecutive crits, gains a shield equal to 20% of this mod's max HP for 10 seconds. I mean, it's not HP, but it is a shield. Magne what is magnetic gun? Mods take 3% less damage each time they cast a skill or ultimate, increased by 3% with every victory, stacks up to 18. When a mod's HP is less than 30%, this effect is doubled for this mod. Shield or defense? I think I'm gonna go, to for, go for the bubble gun. So we have the shop next. Okay, hopefully max hp up we might want to grab celebrian didn't i skip that oh i don't have it up oh no i skipped the fun celebrian functor set i skipped it last time to get other things and i regret it now <laughs> i do because now i'm 200 what are these called again radiant components i'm 200 radiant components short great i think then we'll get this max hp up i guess but it's allied mods max hp so does that count for thor i don't know What's this tactical goggles here? Mods crit rate charge it changes to 40% and their crit damage increases by the amount that was deducted from the crit rate. Oh, that just sounds like a debuff. None of these are really that good. I'm going to do a refresh and probably regret it because now I have less money to spend. What's the crowbar? When mods hit an enemy with any skill other than an ultimate skill, the skills remaining cooldown is shortened by 30%. Not really good. We did see this dream catcher before, but it's dodge energy. Damage of mods is increased by 70% for 20 seconds. When this effect ends, their damage is then reduced by 40. These aren't good. These aren't good. 
I'm gonna grab this majesty here, I guess. I have 300 left, and I guess I'll get Carnage as well. Why not? That wasn't that great, I'm gonna be honest. Hopefully our HP goes up, because we need it. Not doing that elite battle. We're going for the Aether Code normal battle. I, I'm not doing the elite one, not after whatever the heck that normal battle was. I'm not seeing what the elite battle is for this round of fighting. I really don't want to find out, to be completely honest. <laughs> okay, what did our HP go back up to? 8K? Okay, we just need to be really careful, quite frankly which I think these guys are easier to fight. Why can't I dodge? Wait, why didn't it let me dodge? It wasn't like I ran out of dodge energy, did I? I'm just getting hit. I, I think we might just have to weenie strat the entire rest of this. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I don't know why all of a sudden the difficulty was like pumped up. I don't know what's up with that because it wasn't like this in round two. Round two was actually quite chill. Like, I think at first it was a little dicey, but then it was like fine. I will say that lightning thing is really just taking these guys out. Like the lightning itself is kind of bodying these guys. Luckily when there's only one though, it's much easier to fight. All right, I'm gonna ult right off the bat. Take care of this really quickly. Again, I am i don't know why my, I don't know why Thor doesn't want to dodge. I'm, I'm, hitting, I'm hitting the right key on my keyboard. Oh, we got that shield. Thank God. I, I forgot that we, I grabbed that. Wasn't that like after a certain amount of crits, I got a shield. Not bad. Can I have it back? Can I have the shield back? I'm just gonna stand back here, guys. I got my shield back. And I got hit. I have 5k health left. Wow. Okay. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. It's okay. I almost have my ult. Thank God. Thank God. I need that. Why does this suck so much? Oh my God. Why does it suck all of a sudden? Why does it suck? What happens between now and yesterday? It hasn't even been 24 hours. All right. I'm going to grab a rival. Why not? Oh, you've equipped the maximum number of ether codes allowed at the moment. Switch out existing ether codes instead. Oh, yikes. Um, I guess we'll switch it with i guess we'll switch arrival with carnage fine okay that was weird we have an opportunity next please be hp related i'm begging <laughs> so while patrolling you come across a pink haired girl hurrying by wow i love being an aether gazer npc <laughs> it's clearly your first time seeing her but you can't help but feeling like you've seen her before you stop her but before you're able to say anything she says time is running out i need to hurry <laughs> it's the resting anxiety for me i'm just gonna let her go Okay, good. What I learned from the last time we did Thunder Parade is that don't talk to people. Just let them go by. Don't engage. Just don't engage. It may be inevitable, but please be careful. The girl nods at you and turns to walk away. You notice something she left something on the ground, but as you go to pick it up, you realize that she's already gone. So we obtain a large amount of components, but the dodge effect of elusive bulk cannot be triggered during the next five battles? I rely heavily on dodge effects. Oh, that sucks. We get 800 Radiant Components and Transparent Robe is the debuff there. But here's the gag. I can't even use them because we already passed the shop. I can't go back up to this shop here and you can't go backwards. So was it worth it? Was it worth it? I, I'm starting to think opportunities are bad, actually. Maybe I don't want opportunities. Maybe I just want to go on my little path and but not talk to anyone, actually. Maybe I don't want opportunities. Let's do our normal battle. I'm really scared. For I'm pulling up my other sleeve. My keyboard sleeve, I'm pulling it up too. Forget it. Forget it. We gotta go sweaty gamer mode or something. My HP is gonna be like dead. 9k? Okay, it could be worse. I feel like these guys aren't as bad, by the way. Formazanes? Formazanes? Not as bad. Yeah, no, this is definitely not as bad as before. It could be worse. Thank God we got something a little bit, an actual normal battle. Maybe not. These guys are kind of going crazy with their attack patterns. I don't know why they're so angry. Maybe because I beat up their friends, but that could probably be it. Is that one going to explode? Yeah, that one exploded. Actually doing much better this round. I will say that. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. I hope it stays this way. Even with that debuff we grabbed, we're still doing pretty good. Okay, now I'm starting to get hit. Mm, just on the stairs. Get this guy in the, the corner. <laughs> Thank God. All right. That was a lot better. That was a lot better. I got an achievement too. So that was a lot better. Thank God. Thank God. All right. What have we not seen before? Butterfly specimen. When a mod triggers the dodge effect, the movement speed of this mod is increased by 20% for three seconds. I'm going to pin that. What is plush nightcap then? The cooldowns and mod skills are shortened by 7.5%. Doubled when white bear plush is also equipped. I don't know white bear plush, so we're going to go for the butterfly. All right. I know I said maybe I don't want opportunities, but I also don't want to do an elite battle. So opportunity it is. Well, on patrol, you pass by a dessert shop that you regularly visit. You find out that they are offering a promotion which allows you to try one free dessert. And oh, thank God, this is a good one. So we can get the strawberry mousse, which restores full HP, or the chocolate nut bar gains a small boost to max HP. Well, I already grabbed something that gave me an HP boost. Like I, I got a treasure that does that already. And also, 
I just don't like the sound of a chocolate nut bar. <laughs> and strawberry mousse sounds a lot better. I want a full HP restore, thank you. Boss battle time. The sleeves go back up. Let's hit it, flash bolt. I am gonna do weenie mode on this one. We're going with the weenie strap immediately. Not I'm not, don't question it. Go. I'm, this isn't even, it's not a question. But oh my God. Actually, you know what? This is probably a lot easier because it's just one big dude. Maybe not, maybe I lied because he doesn't say when he's gonna hit. Okay, all right. Okay, we don't want to be in a corner. Great, this is getting bad. This is getting really bad. Do we want a weenie strap? We might have, oh my God, what the heck? Okay, yeah, no, we are at 2K HP. We definitely have to weenie strap this. What the heck? Fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, what? No, it's not fine, it's not fine, it's not fine. It's not fine. What just, ha what is going on? I went up to 200 HP. So now it's 200 HP in a dream. This oh, back to 100, a back to 100. Well, this is my life now. This is what we're doing. We're gonna do this, I think like six times or something. Unless we die, then we just restart the whole thing and uh, start over. I don't like you. I don't know what's, this guy, I don't like him. This is fine. I'm doing, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Everything's totally fine. See, we're ulted again. <laughs> With the power of Hatsune Miku. <laughs> oh my God, because her hair is blue. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that sucked. We are officially in double digit HP. Okay, I, I thought I could go farther. We are in a box. Oh, I died. What do you know? What do you know? I hate this boss. What is up with the, the third thing? What is up with that? What is up with that, actually? All right, let's try again. I think I get to reset HP, so we're just gonna have to be more careful or weenie strat the whole thing. I'm not above doing the weenie strat for the whole thing. I already got hit once by doing the weenie strat, so. But I'm also like, if we, the longer we stay here, the worse it's going. Are you, are you kidding me? The worse it's gonna, I'm not even doing anything. And he's hitting me. <laughs> Cause I'm also like, okay, he's this big mech. Every time I keep doing this thing where I'm like trying to get behind him and he just hits me. Cause he's this big mech. It's like kind of like, the only thing I can think to compare it to is the first, like tutorial boss in Lies of P. Basically, you kind of have to like get around him and behind to fight him. Cause if you're right on, he's just gonna one shot you. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Or at least what I'm trying to do, but cause this guy moves a little bit too quickly. So it's like what I'm, I'm trying to get behind him, but it's not really working. So I might just have to, we're gonna die again. There's no way. Luckily we have like unlimited tries. I'm just gonna let him kill me. There's no way. I'm just gonna have to restart. Not the whole thing. I'm just gonna restart the boss fight. Dang it. What is this guy's problem? What is your problem? Cause you can't really get behind him. I know he just does that first hit with like a huge AOE. That there it was. I literally, it's like, cause again, I'm like not able to dodge properly. Like what was happening before. And I, I am no, now I, I, I do see that like with this time, my dodge is, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? She said it for me. You must be kidding me. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am stuck. I'm stuck at the wall. Even like that one run, I got like maybe half a health bar of damage. It's like, what is this guy's problem? I, I just can't move. I can't move fast enough for this guy. And he just keeps putting me in a corner. And if you're in a corner, there's no way out. Yeah, no. The, what, what, what the heck was that? It's at a point where I'm like, do I just give it up? Do we call it a day? Do we call it a day on Flashbolt in the event in general? Which would be a really sucky way to end Dreams Undreamed, but is it worth the pain and suffering? Cause that's what this boss is. It's pain and suffering. Like I can barely get a hit in. I can barely get a hit in. I don't have enough dodge power. I'm not fast enough to get behind him on like the moments he's he is down. And if you get, if I get close to him to try and get behind him, he just hits me. And I, again, also the weenie strat doesn't work because you can just be walking around. What just happened? I did not hit anything there, but my, ga my game thought I did hit something. You do the weenie strat and he still just hits you. I will get this. It's at a point where I'm like, I'm determined. I'm not even using my skills because I don't really have enough time to, what the heck? He hits also for like 4K, by the way. Like I just got, I I'm pretty sure I just got hit for like three, 4K. All right, well I have another ult at least. I think I'm gonna round him. No, see, he immediately turned. And I have like no HP left either. Yeah, dead. Damn it. I'm not even having fun. <laughs> like I'm not even having fun with flashbolt. I'm not. All right, tea break. Cause I hit the engage button and it didn't register. Okay, we're back. I don't like. When do we call it? <laughs> when do we call it? Cause my weenie strat isn't working, which is usually my go-to for a boss that is just like ridiculous. But this guy's like super ridiculous. Is it a matter of like timing? Cause oh my god, immediately, immediately he just kills me. 
and you run out of h you run out of dodge and it's like well i'm screwed get it i can get in maybe one skill at a time i have three skills the only thing i can think is just i'm gonna have to guns go in guns blazing on this and just keep dodging like every two seconds and hope maybe for a modified mode just keep doing the same thing over oh, insanity the, the i'm calling this now the insanity strat the insanity strat by the way isn't working because the insanity strat requires a lot more ability to dodge and i'm dead i'm just dead it might seem like i'm calm but that's because i have a sore throat right now and if i scream it's over for me so it might seem like i'm calm but i do want to scream i do just want to go crazy <laughs> I do just want to go stupid, go crazy. Immediately I got hit. This is insanity at this point. How does the timing on this guy even work? Because it's like you see him get ready to hit and he then he just hits immediately. Like there's no, like he winds up and immediately, immediately. Like, what is that? I was in that battle for 30 seconds. This is, I'm not even keeping track of how many times I restart this. This is just insanity at this point. He doesn't even have like a set pattern of how he hits. He just does random stuff what if i just stay away from him what if we what if we confuse him okay well he's still gonna kill me he's still li like literally i'm not even i'm not even hitting him and he's still like i'm gonna kill you i'm literally just running around and he's still like actually you deserve to die but he doesn't have any sort of like combat patterns or anything he just picks something out of a hat and says all right i'm gonna kill you all right yeah no he just hit me for like all my hp that i had left i didn't know that much left but i just got hit for like all the hp i had left and it's it's at the point where it's like if i restarted and picked different buffs would it even help because I, I i don't think it would help quite frankly this boss just wasn't made for a melee damage you've got to be i almost said a word that would get me demonetized <laughs> but it's like this boss was made for apollo a ranged character that can kind of carry but it's just like he he like swings and prepares to, for the hit and by all known laws of physics it should take him longer to do that hit because of how big the robot is but it, it, it it's like two seconds later i will play this battle for an hour of insane we'll do this i'll be insane for an hour and then i'm giving up on the event i am trying i have just i okay see now we're on the wall we can't be on the wall even just hitting him like getting close to him i'm taking damage just by getting close to him is there like a a phase where he's weaker that i'm what the heck bro what the heck <sighs> an hour i said i'd give it an hour i'm at i've been recording for 37 minutes once i hit an hour we're done with the event i'm not finishing it if i don't finish it okay literally i'm just taking damage from being near him i like even if i he like doesn't even have to be hitting and i'll just be taking damage okay i need to get out of the corner i i literally am not fast enough for this guy how do you get faster are you supposed to be faster i don't want to do this 140 health in a dream it's my dream to be done with this event actually which sucked because i was enjoying it up until now like it was really really fun and now it's just like this isn't even it's, this is like difficult to a point of not being fun oh a modified mode please i'm literally just skill spamming it's this isn't still isn't gonna do it oh you've got to be kidding me you've got to be kidding me he has two health bars left there's no way oh please i wish fine 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 so realistically we need to get through two ults so we can hit that modified mode because i don't it didn't hit the first time it never has hit the first time only the second time eventually we'll have to get it right eventually right but if like if mr dark metal over here is this rough i can only imagine what round four is like like is it even worth it to try okay wait no i think i might have thought realized something if you dodge directly behind him, it's a no-go. But if you dodge to the side, if he would let me, it's like all of a sudden I just can't, I don't have enough power to dodge frequently enough. I don't know when that happened. I don't know if that's that debuff I took with the lightning thing. And see, now I'm now I'm in a, I'm, like he has me smooshed up against the wall. It's like, is it even worth it? He did that two times in a row. Well, how is that allowed? Whoa, what the, whoa. What, what the, ah! what was that? Now my throat hurts. See, look what you did. This is insanity. This is just insanity. It's me doing the same thing over and over again, hoping for a different result. And that's exactly what insanity is. What if I just don't move? Because then he stuns locks. He stun locks when you do get hit by him. I'm almost like, I'm at a point where I'm like, okay, I'm going to weenie strat it again. But I'm not going to fully use the dodges. I'm just going to use them when he's close. Because if we can survive to that second or even just, okay, I'm like right on the wall. Please give me a modified. What must I do for modified mode? 
I, I wasn't even near you, sir. Okay, I almost have my second ult back up. Come on, come on. I almost said a word. I have to demonetize. I almost got demonetized again. Please, I'm... I have to do the closed mouth of scream because otherwise I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say something that's gonna get this video demonetized. I do think we just have to run around for the two ults. I think that's just the only option at this point. Like maybe if we get it in a dodge time, that would be great. I'm at a point where I'm gonna I'm gonna let myself say it one time and then I'm, I'll, I'll censor it and then no more, no more. I'm at that point. So far so good. I've done no damage on him I think, but okay. There's one ult. If I can also fetch that evasion or the modified mode afterwards but i don't think so this is fine so far so good go back around this way we're halfway to an ult again if he just does that ground pound over and over again i'm okay with that oh stop i found a strat leave me alone okay second ult second ult hopefully we get that modified but the thing is he has so much more health than before no modified dang it what must i do i'm thinking if i was able to take in like any other character this wouldn't suck as much but like, again, worst care. I no longer want finish. Thor. Okay, we're almost at the third ult. Uh, third ult, okay, maybe we can get a modified on this one. I'm also just like, I've, I've, I'm have i at the end of my rope. Yeah, no, no. 47 minutes now. I will give up at an hour. I, I, that is something I will do. Cause that's the other thing, right? That if round three boss battle is this hard, I don't even, I shouldn't even expect to finish round four. It's just the timing on this boss is so weird. And it's a little bit too smart. So like if I try to go behind it, it just like follows me the turning. Also, this, there's there's not enough room to fight this thing. There's not enough room to fight this thing in here. Again, if I had like a sword or something, I think I'd be much better off. Am I hitting anything? What the? What just happened? Literally, what just happened? I mean, he just kept hitting me too. What just happened with that run? What just happened? Do we want to just give up now? How much the rewards? How much are we missing out on? 200 shifted stars. Is it worth it? Is it worth like one Paul? for my sanity. Like, I don't know if it's a me problem, like, am I coping? Or if it's an actual, like, just, that's, that's rough, buddy. Thunder Parade, you were not kind to me. You were kind to me yesterday, but not today, for some reason. Thunder Parade, you were very unkind to me. <laughs> like, literally any other. Maybe sigils? I don't know, man. Like, maybe if I had gone for the better funk doors, I don't know. But again, I just, I think, like, if I had Apollo, no shot. Even like Zenki, I'd be better off because they're both ranged damage dealers and some of like just to have when you just have one, when you're just fighting with one character, a melee damage dealer is not fun. It's not fun. <laughs> Do we want to abandon the run or give it one more shot? I'm just like going back and forth now because I don't want to give up on it, but also I'm tired. <laughs> also, I'm just like, I don't think I want to keep going. I don't think I want to keep going. I think I, ah, who was I building? I think I was building Jackal. All right, well, Oh, I never did these character trial. I need to do Ouster's character trial, don't I? Hold on, I'm gonna do this really quickly while we're here. But yeah, Thunder Parade. It was fun at first, and then it got hard. Cause also, I'm I do I I play Hades with ranged weapons as well. Cause in the last Thunder Parade Aether Geyser video, I did have a whole little bit. I went on about how I have in the year of 2023, I had like 60 hours in Hades, and that was just in 2023. And I, none of it was recorded. It was all for fun in my own time. I just like playing Hades, which is like a roguelite. It's, the same, it's a very similar structure to the Thunder Parade game mode, because it's also very roguelite-y. And I, I do that with ranged weapons. I really enjoy the bow <laughs> in that um, game. I, I know there's a lot of people who go for melee weapons in Hades, but I prefer, you know, like the bow, the gun. I'm a ranged weapons enjoyer. I, I through and through. I always have been. So there's that. <laughs> and I think giving me a roguelike game mode, but with a melee character is like not like it was fine for the first half. They got me in the first half. I'm not going to lie. But then the second half came around and it was like, oh, this is rough. Do we get shifted stars from the alpha trials? No, uh, they're all very pretty, though. We did get Varus outfit. A lot of outfits in this version for New Year's, and they're all very pretty. New Year's and Christmas. Some of them were for Christmas. But uh, that's that for Dreams Undreamed. I know we didn't finish Thunder Parade, but we had a grand old time in the last video. This video, not as much, but we did what we came to do, and uh, we were unsuccessful, but it's fine. Oh, I should crack at integrated analysis, shouldn't I? We should probably... We could do Rage. <laughs> I am raging. We could do rage. I'm gonna throw the uh, all my stamina into this today. 
I'm gonna switch a little bit here to run a different Do team. And was this what I was trying? Yeah, this was good. This was good. This was the trial team we figured out in a different video, a different Aether Gazer video. This was the ideal trial team for these, this assortment of trial characters. I think it was the New Year's event. Yeah, it was definitely the New Year's event. But we're gonna throw down for the shopper words for this event, and then we're gonna be done with Dreams on Dream. Don't know what we'll be doing in the next video, because I don't know what's in the next version, but we'll find out soon. This is so much easier than that um, boss from before. <laughs> the New Year's boss, I forget. Oh, what was the boss's name? I forget. Wasn't it just Nian? Yeah, Nian was a, a trip. I know we're gonna have to fight that boss again in the next version. Yeah, I'm just gonna use all my stamina in here and then we will be done for the day. I just have decided to use my stamina now because I'm actually probably gonna log out. I might come back in a few hours because I set up my dorm restaurant situation. I just, I set it up to every 24 hours. I have to come back in and replenish. Um, but there's like four or five hours until that resets. So I might come back in like four or five hours and reset that. Or I might forget and do it tomorrow. I don't know. Not the end of the world if I forget. I'm just gonna use all my stamina here and then we'll buy what we want from the shop. We are doing the rage modes because I feel like it's fitting. We're doing the rage stages. It's the most fitting, okay? I do kind of want to pull for Ausor a little bit more. Although I feel like I might regret that going into the next version because we have so many new characters coming. So I think I'm going to not pull. I think we're not gonna pull actually. Although I will say Ausor is one of my new favorite characters in this game play combat wise i think everyone's ult went up at once did osiris's ult go up at all last time like in the last run around at this i don't know if it did like the more i think about it i don't think it did i'm almost at level 60. if we throw down a little bit more stamina actually i could probably do one more i could do one more stage we're not gonna get as many drops but i'm still gonna do it i have enough stamina for it why not then we just get more points we can spend in the shop in a couple minutes Doing this after doing the, what was it, Flashpoint? Why does it sound like a Valorant term? I, I don't think that's what that thing is called. Um, this feel, I feel like this is so much better. This is so much better now. I have nothing against Thor. It's just everyone has a different play style and Thor is not my play style. I'm not a melee person, which is funny because my go-to team for a really long time in this game has been the Pheasant Squad. And actually the team I'm building up now is also melee. But I have said before, if you only have the option to do a team with one character, pick a ranged damage dealer, because it's just going to be easier that way, because you don't have to worry about being so close to the opponent and getting your own health degraded, but you can instead just kind of worry about hitting the opponent, and it's a lot easier. But we only have Thor, so what do you do with that? <laughs> what do you do with that? Oh, I'm so close. Come on. I could replenish my stamina a little bit, but also I kind of want to save. Actually... This expires in two days. When would two days from now be? We might just throw that down into the shop because it's going to expire before the reset, I believe. And just try to get everything out of the shop, maybe. Or at least all the important stuff. Because, if yeah, then that would expire before the end of the patch. So we're just going to throw it down right now. All right. More rage stages. I might not talk. I might just do these and then we'll do shop buying out. Because it's, it's I'm doing the, the material stages. I'm just milking this patch for all I can before it's over. Because this is probably going to be my last day in, in Dreams Undreamed. Unless I decide I want to do story out of nowhere. But honestly, at this point, if I'm going to do story in anything, it's going to be me trying to crash course the rest of the Arknights story. Normal Arknights, not Enfield, before the beta starts. Because <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't played it in a really long time. So I don't really remember much of the story and what uh, stuff has happened since I last played. So I'm like trying to give myself the Arknights crash course prior to Enfield beta starting. So I know s something going into it. I don't want to be entirely out of my element, you know, but it's been a while. It has. And I'm a very forgetful person. Yay, level 60. Yippee. <laughs> we, I have so much to make up for because they're upping the... Oh, I got more stamina to use here. They're making the level cap higher. So right now level cap in Aethergazer is at 80, but after the update, which this video will go up after that update, it's up to 90. So I have before, like right now I'm only 20 levels behind, but in like three days, I'm going to be 30 levels behind. <laughs> so we gotta, we gotta make some moves here. <laughs> I feel like I've just been spacing out for most of this particular battle. 
Oh, I just hit that all and immediately finished. Wow, that's not the first time that's happened, actually. <laughs> oh, God. This is also a really good way to level up quickly, just doing these stages over and over again. So that's also kind of why I'm like, eh. Sometimes you hit the engage button and it just doesn't engage. <laughs> Back in it. I really felt like I was struggling and like I sucked at the game during that uh, fun the last Thunder Parade stage. I was kind of trying to get to this earlier. But now that I'm like actually using a character, I know how they work, where I know how they work a little bit better and like their play style more. I'm like, yeah, I don't suck at this game. I don't actually suck at Aether Gazer. I feel better now. <laughs> I feel better now. This might have been our last run at it. I'm not sure. Oh, we still got plenty of stamina. <laughs> where are we at with the storeroom? My screen's glitching out. Oh, my OBS glitched out as well. That's lovely. That's so fun. That's so fun and fresh. I love when it, my OBS glitches out. My game glitched out and my OBS glitched out at the same time. Actually, I'm realizing I'm doing display cap. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> I usually use game capture for blue stacks because sometimes I get weird screen tearing issues that are annoying to have to edit out. Um, I did display capture <laughs> on that one. <laughs> so this is going to be a pain in the butt for me to edit. Lovely. <laughs> this entire video is cursed. And mind you, the gl graphical issues I have with this game are all because I'm using blue stacks. It's not actually a Aether Gazer issue because it happens with every single game I play on blue stacks. It's just a blue stacks thing, quite frankly. I swear to God, the day Aether Gazer is playable on PC with a PC client, I'm going to be very happy. I'm going to be a very happy person. <laughs> is it on like that Google Play thing? It might be because I know Ark Knights is because I, I had that pop up for me. Like Google Play is on PC now or something. I don't know. I like don't pay enough attention. I don't think it is. I'm not sure though. I might have gotten the pop up like once, like a couple months ago, and then just forgot about it. Where are we at stamina wise? We can do a couple more runs. 120. We can do one more run at it. This is fine. I'm gonna sit here and just do it and probably not say anything because my brain is fried. I feel like I need to go take a lap around my apartment and then come back and play Genshin. You know, that's kind of the vibe right now. <laughs> I need to go take a lap. I always forget how much health this Metabane guy has. It's a lot of health. Modified mode does wonders though. See, look at that. Modified mode does wonders. Okay, that's it. What's our storm? I might come in and do this a little bit off camera, but what are we wanting to grab? Probably just the important stuff, right? Let's go for the four stars next. You can get a couple of these. And then I think we're down to Einsoft coins. A little bit of that. The cryptics have new research on sigils because I, I did something. I'll come back to that later. There's a lot of stuff that popped up because I hit level 60. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we have battle pass. We have the study program. What are you? Oh God, let me quick claim that. There's a lot there. Um, That's um, new. That's that's very new. Um, Have more on the... God, what's your elf? That's the, that's the functor I had on Thor in the event. Achievements, achievements. I reached level 60. Do we want to end it out with like one more pull? <laughs> Just for the fun of it. Do you want to do that? Oh, there's a, there's a shop here. Huh. Do these expire? No, they don't. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Do these expire? Okay. Uh, speaking of the shop, I do have um the six, level 60 pack. So let me grab that. I'm going to do one pull to end it out. Just see where we're at. It is going to be for our store because I don't have any regular scans or anything. So we're going to do one. A singular pull. It's blue. Yep. That just about tracks. That's fine. I'm fine. All right. That's that's it for Dreams Undreamed. That is the Dreams Undreamed video. Um, we'll probably be a lot more lucky in the next version, which na the name of I'm forgetting. Uh, the update patch video for that is most likely already gone up because that's usually how I, I do it. The patch video is up before this is up because this is longer. It takes longer to edit. But yeah, next Aether Gazer video will be in the new patch, most likely. And I was... Pretty, I, I did do end up getting a lot of content done for this patch. I'm not so sure about the next one just because I will have access to the Arcanet's Enfield beta. Very excited for that. Uh, I could be over by now. I don't know how long it's running for. I don't know the timing on that going into it. I just know it opens on the 12th, which is technically the 11th at night for me. So I have made zero plans for the 11th. <laughs> Actually, no, I think I do have plans on the 11th, but they're during the day. I made no plans for the 12th, though. That's for sure. So, yeah, I don't know how much how heavy you will go on content for the next patch, just because I will have access to that. So, I, disclaimer, you know? But there will be content, especially because I do want to pull for... What was her name? Going to the fireworks thing. 
I met this character like two days ago and I immediately, I already love her. I can't skip through the fireworks animation. I just want to see if this is how I can see me. Jinwoo, Jinwoo, yes. I met her two days ago and I already love her. So we'll be pulling for her for sure. I, like I said, that video's up, but this is it. That's dreams undreamed. I didn't do the main story yet. It's fine. I'm still behind. It's fine. We did the event so that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. As always, I hope everyone had or is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>